Hi, I'm Jake Spyrick, and I recently joined the customer success team at Xano. And during my first two weeks, they asked me to do a build project to learn the product. So there are a few requirements. The first one being there should be an external API that it connects to. There should be authentication, database queries, and content upload. I was struggling with what topic I should do this project on. And then I saw a live stream from my friend Nelson over at Webflow inspired by the Mario movie that had just come out. And I had also just seen that with my nephews. It was one of my favorite games growing up and it was really cool to see them get excited about it. So I was like, okay, this is the topic for me. And so I went over to the Webflow marketplace, grabbed Nelson's clonable and got to work. For the API piece, I knew that there was a Pokemon API and sure enough, there is a Nintendo one as well. So I went over there, checked out the documentation. And the main thing that I wanted to get from this API is the character image. So let's take a look at what I built. So what I decided to build was a way for you to vote for your favorite Nintendo characters. So you can type in anything or if you can't think of one that you like, you can do feeling lucky. And this does an API call to the same API that I was mentioning before. And I can hit submit. And you can see if I type in one that already exists, I will get that counted as a vote instead of adding a duplicate. And that was something that I wanted to try to figure out how to do in Xano. And so, you can see here that the team has already voted on their favorites and it's very close between Yoshi and Daisy, but I'm going to give Yoshi one more bump. So let's take a look at what else we can do in here. So Mario has a super secret area where he can log in and we'll do Mario at hotmail, super secret password. And here we are. So now we can delete characters that we want. So let's just delete. Sorry, Daisy. And now if I go back to the main screen, Yoshi is the only one left from the, the top score. <laughs> one other little Easter egg that I added in was with some JavaScript with the help of Slater from Edgar Allen. So if you do up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A on the keyboard, we get this little cool animation. <laughs> I mostly just wanted to figure out how to do that in JavaScript. Let's take a look at how this was built. All right. So the very first thing that I did was start off in Fig Jam just to get an idea of how I wanted to structure everything in Xano. So I wanted a few different tables one to capture all of the submissions, one to capture the votes, and then one for the users. And so the very first endpoint that I wanted to set up was submissions. And basically what this is gonna do is ping the API, the external API, and then check to see if that submission already exists. If so, then we'll just add a vote. And if it doesn't exist, Let's go ahead and add the submission as well as the vote. We'll um, get the total vote number and then show all of those in the results. So basically, the way this looks over in Xano, I've got my database here with three tables, and then I've got my APIs here. And so <clears throat> whenever you're getting started with your first APIs, what you'll grab is the base URL here. And this is one of the very first things that you'll plug into, into WISD over here. All right, so if we look at our submissions endpoints, we have get and post. And so the one that I was just showing in FigJam was the post. And so the very first step is to make an API request over to that Amiibo Nintendo API there. And 
then when we so basically what we do is just pass in the the name of the character which comes from our input and then you can see that over here on the front end and then what we'll do is use a conditional to, to just make sure that that we do get a a proper response and what i've done here is if we didn't have a matching response that it should go ahead and just say no matching character found and this is helpful for when you're in the the front end and you type in something weird if i hit submit now i'm getting an, an error here and i wanted to customize that error code so that's just one way you can do that and then we're going to take the image create the image resource and then add that file so this is basically just doing the upload and then here is where we check for duplicates so as long as there's an image because i didn't want to continue if there wasn't an image since that's kind of the main thing that we're doing in this endpoint so we want to get the the record from the submissions table and if it's null so we didn't find a match that's when we're going to add the new record and add a vote for it and then otherwise we're just going to add a vote so you know if it's not null which means it's successful that's kind of a negative way to say it but we are going to add the vote in that case rather than adding a duplicate of that character and then here we're just adding back the the total number of likes there's other ways to do that you could use a join and some other options there the reason i did it that way is i wanted to be able to sort so based on on the top votes i wanted them to to sort if i was originally just using an add-on but since the order of the way the add-ons work in the query it wasn't possible for me to sort it that way so lots of different ways you can do these um, this was also just me getting started <laughs> in my first two weeks so i've learned a lot since then and then for the get submissions all we're doing is a simple query and that is how we get the total list of the characters as long as well as their votes and so over here in WISD, we have that data in get all submissions and so here we've got the method and the endpoint. And so we're going to load in the list right there. And then next for the get lucky, the feeling lucky, all we're going to do is hit the, the API the same way. But then what I wanted to do is there were some different characters that were being returned that I didn't really want. And so what we did here and when i say we i mean what i did <laughs> so if we look at get lucky so you can see that same call but in this case we're not actually populating the query in the sense of looking for a specific character i just want to get everything the first thing that i wanted to do was look and see the, the results, this amiibo response here. And then I wanted to shuffle that array so that we get a random character. So just to kind of demonstrate this, I just hit feeling lucky and then it just pulls some random character. But a lot of the times when I was first testing this, it was giving me some of those weird responses that I didn't really like I don't really like these characters <laughs> and I also didn't want Mario because Mario is kind of the most basic response that you would expect we're looping through this shuffled array and from here we're just going to look to see is the name does it contain so this I contains is an, a case insensitive search and so I wanted to make sure that the name didn't contain band and the name didn't equal Mario and that it, they had these yarn variations that I didn't want. So I wanted to make sure the name didn't contain that. And you can see here the, that I'm checking for false. So this returns a true or false based on whether or not it finds a match. And so I create a variable with the, the results of that. 
calling that random character, and then we just return that. So that is how that one works. And lastly, I wanted to handle the deletion of characters. So the one thing, since I have my votes in a separate table, if I were to go in and you know delete one of these characters from the database, it's going to leave all of these votes with an empty matching ID here. So the thing that I wanted to do was just cycle through. So we'll get the related ID, loop through, and just delete all of those votes that match. And this also just deletes the actual character and then takes care of all those votes. So on the Webflow side, just as a quick aside, the way that I'm handling this is if I scroll down here, you just add a custom attribute for each item that you want to be able to, to dynamically control through WISD. So I've got the these names here, and then in the form itself, WISD form character input, submit, and lucky. And then over in WISD, when I'm taking care of these actual loading actions. So when I go to render the list of submissions, it goes and renders the list to that character list attribute. And so if I come over here inside my character list right here, and so you can see how everything is tied to those attributes in that way. So there's my image attribute, and you can kind of just see my full list. And so anything that you add a WISD name to will show up in here, and then you can control that after you load the different API calls. So as you can see here, we've got get all submissions. This loads the logged in user, and then here's our feeling lucky. And then for the data out, whenever we hit that submit button, it does a post to our submissions endpoint. So you can see how we have the get and the post and the delete. So we've got all of those. And then for the remove character, we're taking, we need to actually see which character is being selected. And so we can see here, we've got a variable for that selected player. And then in this case, since it is a protected route, so if I look over here and I can see authentication required. And so that will use the logged in user. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope it inspires you to try some new things in Xano. And I would love to see you in a future office hours or in the community or in the support chat. So I'll see you next time.